today, this man is going to risk his life. Like he did the day before, and when all goes well, like he will do tomorrow. Hi guys. Hello. Uh, what's up? Uh, are you good to go? Yeah, yeah. good to go. Big or small war, while putting an end to armed conflict is of course a good thing. It always leaves behind destruction and devastation, mutilated bodies and damaged lives, crippled economies and piles of munitions and unexploded bombs. These explosive threats might cover communities like a blanket of death, just waiting to kill, and for sure they will, indiscriminately. Farmers in their fields, women in their gardens, and of course children at play who are so easily attracted to these shiny objects that seem like toys. Many will lose their limbs, their faces, their lives. Many will see their friends, brothers and sisters die or get hurt. And when the dust of war has settled, when the fighters have fled or just gone home, many weapons and stockpiles are left behind. Where once was a guard, armed to the teeth, now there is just a fence with a big hole in it. It does not take much. Anyone can get their hands on these weapons. The truth is, it is often way too simple. The leftover detritus of war can become an IED, a car bomb, or a suicide bomber. Whatever form it takes, it is a very frightful thought. For people who live in countries untouched by war, these threats seem distant and intangible. And they can easily be discounted or ignored. It's their problem, someone might think. But in fact, it's our problem. Imagine some dark night this stuff is driven across a border, loaded on a ship, crosses a sea, and is unloaded in a harbor, then packed in a car. In a garage somewhere. Someone attaches a detonator, and then, on a beautiful afternoon, in a popular square, someone with a cell phone pushes the trigger. Today this man risked his life. His name is Douglas. He is from Zimbabwe. He protects all of us. He finds and destroys what could tomorrow destroy a child, a parent, or even you. Join me in supporting Douglas and Unmas in their life-saving work.